guys and welcome back to the channel daughter of increase my name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith God Christ and expanding the kingdom of God as you can see above this is part two to my May book haul and these are all the books that were sent to me for review and um, I'm going to start off hmm I'm going to start off with this book here because this is actually a book that um, they sent and asked me if I wanted to review. I said no, um, but I joined the launch team with this company and um, they actually ended up sending this book to everyone who joined the launch team, so I got it anyway. And um, the company is Moltnoma. Moltnoma. I'm probably saying it wrong, but that's the publishing company there. And um, this is a company that actually ran blogging for books, but they actually shut down blogging for books um, and open up their launch team for people who want to review books. So I have a few items. I think I have three or four books coming in the mail from them that I signed up for for this coming summer and fall. But um, this was a book that they actually sent out to all the people who joined. It's by Babylonian B. It's How to Be a Perfect Christian. Your com Comprehensive Guide to Flawless Spiritual Living. And um, at first, I really didn't want it because of the cover. I'm I'm guilty of one of those people who request or buy things because of pretty covers. But I know you can't judge a book by the cover. And um, I actually did get a snippet of this book after they said that they emailed me and told me they sent it. And I actually fell in love with it snippet. So I'm actually glad that I ended up getting this regardless of not requesting it. And um, this is kind of like a humorous book all about the Christian lifestyle and um, Christian living and I'm excited to read this it sounds really really good um so yeah I I can't wait to dive into this it's a, it sounds awesome and I've seen the reviews a lot of people said that it had a lot of humor to it so I'm excited okay the next book that I got is actually from Crossway um I do how can I say this I'm a part of the Crossway blogger review program and um they normally send their stuff through ebook or through a PDF file and I've reviewed stuff from them before but recently they had a Bible up for request to review and I requested it I mentioned this you guys saw it you can click the eye on the screen to actually see the review or the first impressions I did of this Bible but it's the archaeology study Bible um, in the ESV translation you guys I love this thing since I've made that video I've just been in love with this if you want to see the inside of it um, and what it's about just click the eye on the screen it's an awesome awesome study Bible I swear by this thing it is one of those bibles that you just need to have with you and because it's so based on archaeology there are so many awesome images of like the artifacts and um, the locations like I'm currently studying the gospel of Mark so for Mark 1 they had a picture of Galilee and the northern Jordan River some pictures are really small, some pictures are really big, um, but I really do enjoy this Bible. Highly recommend it. But um, check out that video or my blog post if you want more information. So the next company we're going to move to is Moody Publishers. I talked about them before. I love Moody. Um, they have some really awesome Bible studies. I think I have all of their Bible studies just about. I'm working on getting requesting the last two bible studies but um the next bible study that i have from them is called his last words from kim erickson it is a seven week study on john 13 to 17 and it's what jesus taught and prayed in his final hours this is the bible study it is really really interesting um i will say that you will get a glimpse of the whole gospel of john but it really focuses on 13 and 17 and i mean it goes verse by verse with the charts where you read it and then write down what it tells you about God but then there's a lot of things of uh, questions that are personal that will help you journal and I really just like this style of Bible study um it's not like a true Bible study but more of a journaling kind of Bible study so I really like this and I'm excited for using this because I'm making a video you guys soon um actually after this video but you probably won't see this video till Thursday um, because we have a Bible study coming up on YouTube soon so I'll be talking about that um, and including this but the next book is okay I don't remember if I hauled this in the April book haul. I can't remember. Or I think it was coming in the mail and it didn't arrive until after the fact. I can't remember. But they ended up sending me two copies of this book. Which isn't bad because this is actually a book that I want to read with my sister and do the study on. Because I have the Bible study. Um, so it's The Lies Young Woman Believe by Nancy DeMoss and um, Donna Grush. They actually sent me two copies. Um... I didn't understand that, but you know what? I told my sister that we were going to 
study this together um because they did send me the bible study and i wanted to read it together with her so this is actually a book i'm actually gonna give her and i'm gonna keep a copy so my copy her copy and i'm excited for us to dive in this together let me set this to the side um then we have a lot of things from what is this company called baker publishing group you guys know that baker publishing group um they have various different uh what's the word i'm looking for not categories but different companies within the actual group so um they have bethany house they have baker books they have chosen as well as rebel and i'll leave a link to where you can sign up for all of those down below you do need a blog though um and i'm going to share with you guys all the books that i got from um, baker's publishing group so the first two are from bethany house and keep in mind, these are books that I also request through NetGalley, but once they are available through these companies, I also um, request physical copies. Because though I love ebooks and e-readers, um, because you can carry so many books on one item, I still prefer to have physical books just because I think it looks pretty on the shelf and you can always go back to it, mark it up in person and stuff. So, this first one is called Generous Love by Becky i'm gonna say becky k i can't pronounce her last name i don't want to butcher that but um this is discover the joy of living others first um so i'm excited about this it looks really cool um lots of scriptures within here lots of different things you can do she has questions and activities um i'm excited for this i love books that really get you involved and um really help you dive deeper into what they do so like books that have journaling prompts or discussion questions at the end of each chapter or activities that they want you to do i love books like that um, especially when it comes to christian based books just because it helps you to actually utilize the tools and the um, ideas that they have within the book um so i have that then i have this one which is another book i actually requested this and um through NetGalley and I haven't read it yet but I was excited to see that they had physical copies of this up so I, I had to snag it up and it says finding the love of Jesus from Genesis to Revelations and um it's by Elise, Elisa Fitzpatrick and Amanda Bible Williams which is the author and chief content officer over at She Reached Truth said that reading this book made me want to read my Bible um and it's just learn the secret to delighting in God's word so just learning and understanding um, God and who he is and everything like that from the Genesis to Revelation, the whole thing. Because a lot of people only focus on the New Testament. And um, I get it. The New Testament is awesome. But the Old Testament just has as much relevance to us as it did in the um, past, as well as the New Testament. Hopefully it just made sense. But um, this one has questions or the things you can study and stuff. So I'm excited for this. Excited. And it's a really nice um, kind of like velvety kind of cover. And some embossing on it. And I really like the feel of this book. So I can't wait. Now this book is a bit more of a personal book for me. Um, and when I saw it, I definitely wanted to request it. Um, it's by Adriel Booker. And it's Grace Like Scarlet. Grieving with Hope After Miscarriage and Loss. Um, so this is really for women who's, who have gone through miscarriage. Or even someone who wants to learn about it to help someone else. Um, deal with it but this is on a more spiritual view of it and um, I've personally have gone through it and it's not the best feeling in the world um, but you know things happen for a reason and I may tell the story sometime soon who knows like I said I have a lot of testimonies to share with you guys lots of testimonies like it's insane I've been through quite a lot and um, you know I definitely wanted to get this this one says guilt is productive false guilt is destructive shame alienates us from love the tangle of guilt and shame stigma surrounding miscarriage is a breeding ground for shame so yeah i i, per I got this for personal use um but this is definitely something i could see me doing a study on in the future this one is by christine welch it is raising the world sorry i didn't even tell you guys so this book, Grace Like a Scarlet, and the next th two I'm going to talk about are all, all from Baker Books. So, Baker Books of the Baker Publishing Group. But this one is from Christine Welch, like I was saying. It's called Raising World Changers in a Changing World. How One Family Discovered the Beauty of Sacrifice and the Joy of Giving. 
and isn't it pretty oh my god i wish you could see the foil in person but this is navy blue with white and gold foiling i love it it's so pretty um it says almost any parent you ask will tell you that they want their children to be happy successful adults but many of us forget or never knew to begin with that lasting personal joy is not necessarily found the way the world says it is through reaching a certain socioeconomic status, having a certain job, buying a certain house, or having a certain amount of money in one's bank account. In fact, personal satisfaction comes not from grabbing onto things, but from holding them within an open hand and very often giving them away. So, yeah. At that. Then I have Love Defined by Kirsten and Kirsten Clark and Bethany Baird. You probably know them from their YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to their YouTube channel where you can click the on the screen if I can get it to go to their channel. Um, they also have a book called Girls Defined. Um, but yeah, there are Girls Defined Ministries on YouTube. And this is their second book called Love Defined. And I'm excited to dive into this. There are some journaling questions in here, which I didn't know, like study guides and stuff that go with the book. So I'm excited for this. So the next book is by Rebel from Rebel Publishing within the Baker's Publishing Group. Sorry, um, this is a girl's guide to conquering life by Erica John, Erica and Jonathan Catherman. This is literally a big old how-to guide, you guys. When I requested it, I didn't think it through, but I'm actually glad that I have this because I do have a younger sister who's 13, um, and it's literally just a guide. Um, there's a section for guys and dating, a section for social skills and manner. Chapter 3 is on worth eth work and ethics. Chapter 4 is on wealth and money management. Chapter 5 is on health and beauty. One on clothes and fashion, sports and recreation, cars and driving, food and cooking, and tools and fix it. And it's literally set up as a how-to guide. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. How to, wa how to wash your hands properly. How to freshen your bad breath. Um how to build a savings account, how to manage a credit card, how to properly wash your hair, how to shave your legs. Um, you know, it's 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 definitely an interesting one. Definitely interesting. Um, but I'm glad I did get it, though I think it's silly. Um, but yeah, it's just literally a girl's guide on random different things. Some of them I find useful, some of them I think are ridiculous, but you know, fun books like that are always fun to have on your shelf. For future use and then the last two are from rebel no sorry the last two are from chosen from baker publishing group and um this one is possessing the gates of the enemy a training manual for militia intercession by cindy jacobs and yeah practical personal biblical motivational this best-selling book has been the go-to definitive guide to prophetic intercession for years so, what is the purpose of intercession? How do you know someone needs your prayers? How do you pray? Do your prayers really battle the enemy and throughout his plans? And what are the gates of the enemy? I'm all into intercessory prayer. I actually went to prayer school for this. And um, it's something that definitely was sparked in me. Praying for others, interceding for others, deepening my prayer life. So, I'm excited to read this really soon. And the last one I have from them is Poverty, Riches, and Wealth by Chris Ballantin. And it's forwarded by Gentesine Franklin. Um, moving from a life of lack to into tr true kingdom abundance. First of all, this book is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is probably going to go on my shelf with my favorite books that I like. But I am excited about this. I struggle with finances personally because I have a habit of wanting to spend my money. Sorry, you guys, my son is um, probably waking up, so I apologize. He's actually right there sleeping. No, he's not. Okay. But, um, yeah, I have a problem with spending money, like a serious problem. I don't like to spend my personal money, but I don't also like to ask people for money. But I like to spend money. That just didn't make any type of sense. And when I try to save, I find it so hard to save. Um, lately, I've been doing a little better at it, but um, I think books that help you save through um, spiritual view and the way God views saving money is good for christians to read upon so i have that okay so moving on to the last company i got books from because i have multiple books and multiple bibles from this company um so let's just jump into this so the first book i have from this company 
first, first of all, the company <laughs> is um, BH Publishing Group. I am a part of their BH Blogger program where um, they have books up every month that you can request. You request it, you get a coupon to use on Lifeway, you get your book, read it, review it, and then you can request more books. So I have like eight or seven books here to show you guys, but some of these I've purchased, actually purchased multiple ones um, of them. So the first one is Just Open the Door from Jen Schmidt, and it's How One Invitation Can Change a Generation. It's from the author of Encourage. And, um, yeah. Change a generation with something as simple as an invitation. So. I just, I guess it's just about being inviting. I, I don't really know too much about it. I've heard people rave about it, which is why I requested it. Um, I did end up buying my mom a copy of this book. So she has a copy as well. So I have that. Um, the next book I have is Superheroes Can't Save You. By Todd Miles. Epic examples of historic heresies. Heresies, sorry. Um, so I do have two copies of this because I bought a copy. One for me, one for my son because I think I'm going to be obsessed with this. Just because when I was reading the titles, I just fell in love with the book for myself. Um, so I kept the review copy and bought him one. So this is about how Superman can't save you, Batman can't save you, Ant-Man can't save you. Thor can't save you, Green Lantern, the Hulk, and Spider-Man, and how they can't save you. Um, there's a subject index, there's a scripture index, there's an epilogue, last words, and so forth like that. I'm personally excited to read this for myself. My son is obsessed with this as well. He thinks it's cool. My son is only four years old, so um, it's going to be a while before he can read this. But I do like getting him books that I see that are going to be good for him when he gets old enough to read. Um, and he does love all of the superheroes, even I do, so... I'm excited to read this. Can't wait, can't wait. So I do have two copies. I purchased one, got one for review. So that is that. And um, just moving these books out the way. Okay, so then I have this, which is 365 Trivia Twist Devotions. Fun facts and spiritual truths for every day of the year. It's from BH Kids. Um, and it's literally a daily devotional. Just about different factual things um, about times and dates and people. Um, like, alright, so July 10th says a lasting mark. In 1866, Edison P. Clark patented his indelible pencil. Um, so it talks about him, then it talks about how a guy uses that, and then um, it gives you a scripture and something about the time that happened, like, in a different year on that date if that makes sense so i think this is a fun one um especially for like when my son gets older and he has history projects and stuff like that this is a book that we can go to a lot um so yeah i think this is just a fun book and i would recommend it for parents who have kids that are like in middle school because it's going to be great um when you're doing history projects and stuff so the next one i swear you guys are obsessed with this book like no lie I've been using this book every day, especially when I do Bible studies with my siblings. I've been asking my mom questions out of this book. This book is amazing. I request, I'm sorry, not request, I recommend every single person, whether you're an adult, a child, a teenager, a pastor, a minister, an evangelist, prophet, I don't, I don't care what you are. I highly suggest this book because it really goes into the word. Um, so this is cornerstones 200 questions and answers to learn truth by brian i'm not gonna attempt to pronounce that name but you guys this is broken up into various sections you have the section on god you have a section on creation you have a section on sin temptation salvation um, just a lot of different things, which is why it's so colorful on the side, because everything has different colors. But, um, like, it asks you questions like, who are the three persons of God, and how many persons does God exist? Um, there was one that I actually really did like, that actually blew my mind. So it was in the section of sin, and it said, um, who was responsible for Adam and Eve eating the fruit? And this is one that actually tripped me and my siblings up and my mom, too, for a minute, because we all immediately thought it was the devil. But um, this one actually 
gives that responsibility to both Adam and Eve because they freely chose to disobey God and were responsible for that sin. Though the devil um, had some partaking in that sin, he didn't force them to do it. They did it on their own, through their own willingness. So, you know, I, I just, I love this Bible, you guys. And the artwork in this book is pretty. I really recommend it. This is, this is awesome. I love it. 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 Um, there's also a parent guide in here. So I think there's a separate book, but, um, yeah, this, this book is amazing. Like amazing when you're doing Bible studies with kids. Amazing. Or if you want to like trip up an adult who swears they knows the, knows the Bible, th that's the book. Um, this one I also got from my son. It's called Colorful Selling the Colors God Gave Us, um, by Dorina Williamson. And, um, it's just all about colors. And, um, I think this also dives into different skin colors of us. You know, how we can all celebrate not just the different colors of pink, red, and purple, but the different skin colors and the different colors of our skin and, um, nationalities and stuff. And I really just, I love it. I really love that. Okay, so the last thing, you guys, are Bibles. Now, I got two of the Bibles for review, but then I went back and ordered two more copies of each of these Bibles. And it was an unexpected thing that I did, but, um, okay, so the first Bible is this one. I don't have the box with me, so I'm going to show you guys this box. And, um, this is the Bible. It is the Worldview Study by Room in the CSB translation from Homans. Yeah, from home in. Um, you can click the on the screen to go see the first impression video. But I have my copy here, which I have been utilizing while I've been studying and preparing studies for upcoming things I'm going to be doing. I really love this Bible. It's a really awesome Bible. Um, and I think this is a great Bible for men or even for people who really aren't into um, the religion or whatever you want to call it, Christianity, or who don't believe in God or whatever the case, because the articles in here are amazing, you guys. The essays, articles, whatever they call them, they're freaking phenomenal. If you want to know what I'm talking about, click the eye on the screen and go see that first impressions video. But um, I did, like I said, order two more. So I got that one for a request and I ordered these. So here's one here. So like I said, this is my book here. I have this one here, which I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway on. And then the other one I'm actually going to be giving to my fiance for Father's Day along with the devotional I shared with you guys in the first part of the book haul. Just because I want him and I to spiritually grow together. And um, he does he's not like a church goer. He does read his own personal Bible from time to time. But um, I definitely wanted to get something that we can do together as a couple. And um, I think this is going to be great with all the study guides and Bible studies I showed you guys in part one. So I have that. And then I have this updated beauty. So you guys have seen my HCSB um, Bible review that I have. You can click the on the screen for that. But they came out with the updated version in the CSB. So it's the study Bible for women you guys seen before. But this is the CSB. Click the on the screen for that um, first impressions video I did. But this is that glorious Bible. I love this Bible. It is so pretty. Um, it's just as useful as the old one. I will be doing a comparison video soon for that but for some reason i just really like the updated version it's a lot more prettier brighter bolder um i love the organization of it and how it's set up in here um but i do have a backup copy if i can grab it so here's the backup copy here's my copy and i actually got a copy from my mom because she wanted one when she saw it and she's been loving hers so i have this one for review as well as this one, which I've done videos on already in um, written reviews as well on my blog. But then I ordered two more copies of each. Um, one I gave to my mom, one I'm giving to my fiance. And then these two here, which will be in a giveaway that I'm going to be working on. I think I have four Bibles now and two children's kind of Bibles. Um, because I want to do giveaways. I really do want to give that to people and help those who really want to learn the Word of God. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing those giveaways soon. Definitely going to be doing one, um, that mommy and me giveaway. I'm just waiting to get a journaling Bible because I want it to, I, I really want it to be a journaling Bible that I want to give to a mother. Um, so yeah, but that is everything that I got for you guys. Minus the backups that I of course purchased, but that is everything. All the review books I've, I've, when I, okay. So I've read, 
I'm gonna say red for some of them because when I like to when I read I like to highlight and underline but when it comes to my review books I don't really have the timing to do that because I do have to um, review them in a certain time frame so I do read them through quickly um, but then I eventually go back months later and really dive in with my Bible and my notebook and my pens and highlighters and stuff so I've read through some of these already um, I have my reviews which I'll find links for them so you guys can check out the reviews um, but I'm sorry you guys saw that it just flew like in front of my camera but yeah that is it for this video you guys if you haven't already seen part one check out part one and i will see you guys in the next video bye mm -hmm.